Wednesday, hump day. Week's half over already. It's about 358, 60 degrees out. Just a beautiful day. Hardly any cloud in the sky. And it's time for the workday recap. This morning I had a early radiant call, which is like for point of sale systems. Uh, this one was on Naval Air Station, NES Jacksonville, Florida. So I uh, had to go to the, the military base. This was at the Navy Exchange in the food court for Sparrow. Sparrow. I don't know how you say it. I really don't care. I've got my own way of saying it. So it's the Italian restaurant. They had a uh, file server go down like four or five days ago. And it turned out that there was some swollen and blown capacitors on the main board. So it wouldn't boot up properly. Uh, I had to replace that file server today and uh, swap out the hard drives. Well, if you replace the hard drive or the file server and don't swap out the hard drives, they said usually they'll take about eight hours or so to uh, complete the job. And uh, this one was supposed to be a lot quicker than it was. But the file server was running extremely slow due to uh, lack of RAM memory. Um, the hard drives were full. They had like six years worth of data on them. And uh, so we, I worked with tech support there and cleaned that up a little bit. Um, Remove some programs that were on there. They had two antivirus softwares running. One was McAfee, the other was Microsoft Security Essentials. Uh, we ended up getting rid of the Security Essentials. So. Then um, they were talking about doing an upgrade on the server because obviously they need some more RAM in there some more memory. I got the idea, just temporary fix, give them some more, uh, was take the RAM out of the old server and put it in the new one, because there was nothing wrong with that. <laughs> so that made, that sped things up a little bit, and I think I ended up being there maybe about two and a half, three hours. We were both joking. Didn't know a hard didn't know a hard drive swap was supposed to take about eight hours, but it didn't take that long. It just, it did take longer than expected, so. But we got it up and running, and Sparrow was able to open and operate. Um, so that was good. I know I've said it before, but I always like going to the base, because it's like bringing back memories. I used to be in the Navy, so it's nice to go back and visit sometimes, see how things have changed. And, um, yeah, my second call was, I think I mentioned, I think I mentioned that we, uh, Gaines is calling me, I'll have to call him back in a little bit. But, uh, We do the McDonald's Wi-Fi. There was one over by where our shop sat that had a bad access point. I got to the site, ended up eating lunch. Uh, then I went to start working on the AP and I spoke with the manager. The manager had already replaced the AP. So it's like, huh? It's not that often that we run into that, but um, it's nice when we do. 
all I had to do was just test it, get AT&T Wi-Fi on the phone, let them verify that they see me on there uh, surfing, and uh, then that system also runs their cashless, which is their credit cards, gift cards, that kind of stuff. So uh, they were able to see all that. I think I was in and out in maybe a half hour. So that was pretty good. And this McDonald's is usually the one I stop at when I'm heading into work in the mornings. Uh, I'll get like Gaines a drink and my other co-worker when he used to work here, I'd get him a drink and I'd get me like breakfast and something to drink. But uh, it feels like just yesterday I was in there and turns out it was about four weeks, but they completely, almost completely tore down um, that McDonald's and um, remodeled it. So that was pretty cool. But uh, yeah, I'm almost home now. Um, I think I'll talk to y'all later or tomorrow.